Hello everyone, Matt from Those Damn Guys here. I'm going to give you a tutorial guide on how to clean and repair a Nintendo 64 controller using a few household items. I'm also going to show you some uh, a very minor but cool upgrade on how to make it work just like a GameCube controller. So stick around for my guide. Before you get started, you need a couple tools from around the house. Uh, the first thing that is probably the most important here is a little teeny screwdriver. Thankfully enough, the Nintendo 64 uses standard Phillips screws, which is really nice. So just get a little teeny Phillips screwdriver and you'll be able to take your controller apart, no problem. The second thing I got here is just a teeny little bowl of warm water. You want to use that for cleaning, just to kind of get a lot of the gunk out of the areas. If, I mean, I'm sure as a kid you spilled soda on your controller, so it's probably still deep down there. Um, the second piece... I'm sorry, third piece at this point, I don't know how to count anymore, um, is a, I like to call it like a, a grandma's toothbrush. It's used for like dentures. It's a little bit firmer, uh, but it's still soft enough that you can kind of scrub away and not cause any problems. So use one of those. And then fourthly is just a good old fashioned paper towel to dry things up. You don't want your controller wet while you assemble it, put it back together and try using it. It's gonna be bad news. Um, if you're like me, I'll keep a Guinness around and, and keep it at a low tension work environment. Don't worry, this is really easy. All right, we're finally gonna clean the controller now. Now, for N64 controllers, especially if you've been using them in the past, um, they have what I like to call a bowling pin thumbstick. It, it kind of looks like an upside down bowling pin. You can already see that it rubs on the, the sides quite a bit, uh, leaves a bunch of like plastic residue from wearing down. But the worst part about it is they just kind of, after a while, they just sort of dangle there. They don't really uh, stay firm anymore, which is which is not cool. And it's not, a, uh, it's not good for playing any sort of game. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this piece. Now when I was talking to you earlier, and I, I said I was gonna get it to work like a, a GameCube controller, what I mean by that is that there's actually a pretty big market for after par or aftermarket uh, uh, replacements now. And, and you can see on the GameCube controller, it sort of has this, this eight-way octagon thumbstick. Now the N64 is sort of like that, but this still has that bowling pin thumbstick. This does not. This is more of a traditional thumbstick that you're used to nowadays. So um, what we're going to end up doing is I got this replacement thumbstick for the N64 that is made, this this one specifically is made in Taiwan. This isn't, you know, a US part that you can just run down to your local Radio Shack or anything and pick up. But what you can see is different about it is that it's not a bowling pin anymore. It's actually like a real thumbstick. So you're gonna be able to put this in your N64 controller. It'll last way longer and it'll wear a lot less. So this is a really cool replacement part. Um, these typically go for around 10 to $20. I wanna say I picked this one up for about 15. And there's a ton of people out there who make these now. Uh, just just read reviews on, on quality. Um, there are definitely ones that are, are super imitations or imitations of imitations, however you want to look at that. Um, but I decided to go with this one, and so far I'm actually very impressed. It, it feels great. It looks great. Um, and the plastic is actually insanely close to the original N64 plastic color. So we're going we're gonna to work with this. So let me get the GameCube controller out of the way. Check out the back of the N64 controller. This is actually how you're going to take it apart. Now, there are nine screws. There's a couple here on the different actual grips. Um, there's one in the center, or I'm sorry, two on the center. Uh, then you got the final grip, and then there are two where the memory card slot is. All right, those are gonna be your, your screws that you actually have to take out right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll speed up through this video so you don't have to just sit there and watch me unscrew things. All right, so I'm gonna take a minute to pause here real fast. Let's, let's take a look. This is pretty much the main board of the Nintendo 64 controller. There's not a lot of it there. Um, as you can see, one of the sh shoulder buttons just fell out. That's normal, that's okay. A lot of these are just resting pieces um, and they're held in by the actual controller case being closed. So if a couple things fall out, don't freak out. Just know that they're gonna have to set back that way when you put the controller back together. 
Um, this is pretty much the main board. Uh, we're gonna wanna take this out. If you're working with water and electronics, you kinda want them to be as separate as far as possible. So uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this main board out of here. And then with that, we're going to um, use the water and the toothbrush, and we're gonna kinda scrub around the edges and, and get this thing cleaned up. So I got the board kind of pulled out there. Just be careful when you're moving this stuff around. You don't want anything to snap. The actual trigger for the Z button, it kind of pops out here. You can see that one of these tabs kind of moves out of the way. Um, so that's how you want to pop this thing out. I'm gonna undo the final three screws here for the thumbstick housing. You do not need to undo this little black screw. All right, there she goes. So there's the whole housing by itself. There's only those three screws holding the guy in. You can see this is actually the front face plate here. See the different buttons on there. These are easy. These are typical rubber inserts for almost any controllers. Just wanna pull these guys off. Set them off to the side. Little D pad is one full button. So start. And finally, your face buttons. Now, these are molded in a fashion. If you've never taken a controller off before, you can see they have these little teeny teeth um, around the edges here. And they actually fit accordingly to these different spaces. So don't worry about having to figure out which ones go where. They'll automatically fit back in, not a problem. Here's the back. The back has a little Z button here. This guy will pop out. Flips up all the way and then you just snap them out of there. All right, so first we're gonna do a cleaning here. Uh, make sure you're in some place that you don't mind things getting wet, because I guarantee you things are gonna get wet as you are using water. So I'm just gonna take my toothbrush, get a little bit of warm water, and the place that's probably gonna be the biggest problem are around these edges here. We're gonna go around the entire edge of the controller. This is where your dust, the dirt, grime, everywhere else picks up. So I'm gonna clean those off first. Nice and clean. I'm going to take my paper towel. First, I'm going to wipe up my table. I'm just going to go around the edges, make sure any of the droplets of water and stuff that's set in the controller are cleaned up. Again, we don't want to mix water with electricity. own just to dry up any of the last pieces and then I'll be right back all right we're in the final stretch here we're almost done the last few things that we have to do here are actually replace our thumbstick so we're gonna get a brand new thumbstick in there and then finally we're just gonna put the damn thing back together we'll be good to go so let's see here the very first thing on this main board is that there's this little blue connector I think it's a it looks like a six pin connector here all you're gonna do is grab these pretty close to the base and then just start wiggling them back and forth and we should be able to pull this out. Yep, 
There we go. Now our thumbstick is completely separate. You can see it's still wiggly. This is the bad one. So let's get that out of the way. We're gonna go ahead. Here's our brand new one. So we're gonna do the same thing, kind of grab it by the base. Let's make sure it's going in there straight. And then let's stick it in and get this guy set up. Oop, let me see here. I am having a hard time doing this from this camera angle, so I'm going to move. Yep, there we go. Make sure it is seated well. Looks good to me. All right. So we're going to set that aside for the second. Let's go back to our front faceplate here. We're going to get our buttons back in there. I'm going to start off with the D-pad. So that's easy. You can see there is a little marker here. It might be kind of hard to see on the camera. But then there is a little groove on the D-pad. So we're going to go ahead and just line those up. Guy back in there. Great. Perfect. I'll speed this up. Let's start getting our other buttons back in. set that connector make sure it's in there seated nice and straight so uh, uh, when you actually put this thing back together it's gonna be good to go and you don't have to take it apart again all right uh, next piece the shoulder buttons here they got little grooves let's go ahead and stick those guys in they're almost done believe it or not stretch here we got our final nine screws that we need to chuck in there we've got two in the back remember don't forget about these guys they are smaller screws then we've got the rest of them down the bridges so let's get those in there and then let's check out how this thing turned out That is it. Our N64 controller is now complete. We got the cable routed in there. Uh, our D-pad looks great. The two shoulder buttons look great. All the other buttons work just fine. And here's our brand new thumbstick. Super firm, dead center, not a problem. I'm very excited about this. I can't wait to try out some of the other games. Get back into my uh, N64 catalog. All right, so that's it. We're all done now. You have successfully cleaned and modded your Nintendo 64's thumbstick. I must say, I haven't had much time to kind of sit here and play around with it, but 
already I love this thing. It has completely revitalized the life in the buttons, cleaning them out there. You always had that one friend who came over and spilled soda or just like crammed Cheeto dust in there. It was horrible. It was annoying. Uh, but now it's nice and clean. All the buttons are very clicky again. But I, I must hand it to the thumbstick. It, it makes a... Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't even, I'm at a loss for words as to how awesome this thing is. So do yourself a favor, go check out the replacement thumbsticks for the Nintendo 64. I don't have a direct link because they're all over the place. Uh, a lot of them are different Chinese sites or they have brand new auctions all over eBay. So go ahead, check out eBay. You can search for just Nintendo 64 replacement thumbstick or joystick, whatever. These will pop up. Just be sure to look for the ones that are not a bowling pin. They have an eight-way kind of octagon base to them. They look a lot like the GameCube controller. For more other videos like this, check out Retrofix at youtube.com slash those damn guys. And let me know what you think about this controller mod in the comments. Have a great day.